Since time immemorial, cattle have been the livelihood of families and entire communities. And among the breeds that now stand out in the tropics, the Guzerat has emerged as a true revolution. With deep roots and a history of adaptation and overcoming, this breed has not only demonstrated extraordinary efficiency in hot and humid environments, but also embodies the spirit of resilience and the daily struggle for survival under adverse conditions. The name Guzerat evokes both tradition and modernity. In a world where cattle farming faces unprecedented challenges, choosing this breed becomes a symbol of change and evolution. Its history is marked by the determination of producers who, with courage, bet on an alternative to conventional breeds. The message of the Guzerat is clear. It's not solely about numbers and statistics. It's about transforming the way we understand cattle management in the tropics. The Guzerat is not simply cattle. It is a living manifestation of the ability to adapt and resist. Many producers ask, what makes the Guzerat so special? The answer lies in its unique genetics, a combination of ancient Zebu ancestry and tropical adaptability, which allows it to thrive in conditions where other breeds are limited by extreme heat and endemic diseases. This breed has earned its reputation not only for its performance in meat and milk production, but also for the ease with which it integrates into extensive and sustainable production systems. This approach is provocative because it invites a rethinking of traditional paradigms. While other breeds are celebrated for their performance in temperate climates, the Guzerat stands as the answer to a challenge many once thought insurmountable, producing efficiently in the heart of the tropics. This initial contrast sparks curiosity and immediately attracts the interest of producers, technicians, and countryside enthusiasts. The history of the Guzerat isn't confined to cold statistics. It is imbued with experiences and emotions. In small rural communities, generations of cattle farmers have faced the challenge of raising animals that can withstand the harsh tropical climate. There is the story of Doña Magdalena, a producer who from childhood watched her father battle the adversities of drought and pests until one day she decided to place her bet on the Guzerat. With effort and perseverance, she transformed a small farm into a model of productivity and resilience, proving that choosing this breed was not just a technical decision, but an act of faith and commitment to the future. Every animal, every calf, carries the testimony of those who have worked for decades to perfect the selection and management of the Guzerat. The narrative is enriched with anecdotes of sacrifice, of sleepless nights pouring over records, and endless days when the tropical sun seemed to challenge the human will. The emotional narrative highlights the almost sacred bond between the cattle, farmer and his animals, showing how the Guzerat becomes a partner in the struggle, an indispensable ally that rewards with visible and tangible results. The evolution of the Guzerat dates back to a time when adaptation was a matter of survival. Its origins lie in the ancient mix of Zebu cattle that arrived in tropical lands and, over generations, adapted to extreme conditions. The process of natural selection was complemented by human intervention, which identified the most valuable. Traits, heat resistance, tolerance to parasites, and a unique ability to transform low-quality pastures into high-quality meat and milk. Initially, the adoption of the Guzerat faced skepticism and debate in conservative circles, as many believed, that introducing breeds with such disparate origins could compromise the quality of the final product. However, over time and through accumulating data and experience, it became evident that the benefits far outweighed the initial doubts. Producers from various regions of the tropics began reporting significant improvements in productivity, reductions in input usage, and above all, increased profitability in their operations. Although the Guzerat is recognized for its exceptional performance, its history 
is not without challenges and vulnerabilities. The acclaim it has achieved in the tropics is the result of years of struggle and adaptation, but it also reflects an animal that, in many cases, must confront severe environmental conditions, endemic diseases, and the uncertainty of climate change. This contrast between an image of efficiency and the reality of its vulnerabilities creates a narrative tension that invites deep reflection on cattle management in harsh environments. The accompanying video highlights that despite its stellar reputation, the Guzerat requires careful management and investments in infrastructure and animal health to reach its full potential. It mentions, for example, sustainable management practices that mitigate the effects of thermal stress and parasitic diseases, as well as the importance of ongoing training for cattle farmers to recognize and respond to early signs of health issues in the herd. This contrast underscores the dual challenge inherent in any great endeavor. On one hand, the recognition of production excellence, and on the other, the constant need for innovation and adaptation in a changing environment. The choice of the East's Guzerat has sparked intense debates in cattle farming forums and seminars. Some critics argue that relying on breeds that, although efficient, might jeopardize genetic diversity and long-term sustainability could displace native breeds whose traditional knowledge has allowed adaptation to specific tropical niches. This controversial discussion not only invites reflection, but also fosters the exchange of ideas and experiences among producers, technicians, and cattle experts. Within this debate, arguments both for and against are presented. Advocates of the Guzerat highlight that its introduction has enabled small and medium-sized operations to boost productivity, increase income, and in many cases, improve the quality of life for entire communities. On the other hand, critics warn about the potential loss of diversity and the need to implement management policies that ensure a balance between modernization and the conservation of traditional breeds. This tension creates fertile ground for dialogue and a joint search for solutions that benefit both the production sector and the ecosystem. In essence, the story of the Guzerat is one of overcoming, boldness, and commitment to the future. It will work. represents the culmination of tireless work, faith in the ability to adapt, and the pursuit of excellence under conditions that once seemed to limit the possibilities of tropical cattle farming. This video not only recounts the evolution of a breed, but also invites us to reconsider the roles of innovation, tradition, and debate in building a sustainable and prosperous cattle sector. The challenge facing the modern cattle farmer is enormous. To combine ancestral wisdom with technological innovation, to respect the environment without sacrificing productivity, and above all, to recognize that behind every animal lies a story of struggle and triumph. With its efficiency and its challenges, the Guzerat has become the emblem of a new era in tropical cattle farming, one in which every decision, every management practice, and every investment represents a firm step toward a better future. Ultimately, the story of the Guzerat reflects what it means to embrace change without losing one's identity. It is the voice of those who, day after day, fight for a future where tropical cattle farming is built on principles of sustainability, innovation, and respect for life. And above all, it stands as a testament that at the crossroads of tradition, and modernity lie the answers to the challenges presented by the tropics, marking the beginning of a new era in which efficiency goes hand in hand with social and environmental commitment.